Hey y'all, so I'm sitting here waiting on my order. They're gonna send me a message, uh, email telling me my order got picked up. No appetite loss, which... I was looking forward to that. I was looking forward to that. Oh, okay. Every day, you guys, the 23rd, August 23rd, it is currently 12.52, you guys, and I'm out, yeah, I'm out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I am on my way to pick up my Walmart school supply list, and my school shopping, freshly school shopping, two days before my son school starts yes i am yeah yeah i did i'm doing that um do i have a plan yes as well does he have school uniform pants shirts sweaters no however he can fit his pants from last year but we're gonna find him some stuff today so in my walmart order the stuff is coming between today and the 27th which is fine because he only is going to school like two days this week they they start him like damn near at the end of the week which i'm fine with so over the weekend the rest of his school supplies will come <clears throat> so school supply drop off tomorrow is not gonna have everything so, yeah, that's the plan. So, I'm on my way now to the Walmart. I still need to get him some school shoes. I wanted him to have the Adidas that he feels most comfortable in. But when I tell you, I cannot find them anywhere without having to ship them. So, what I'm thinking about doing is just, well, what I am going to do is I'm just going to go to um, the shoe store and get him some all black shoes or black and white shoes. And then I'm going to order the Adidas and have them um, shipped to the house because apparently they're a high commodity now. When I got them, I thought, you know, I was caught on to something that people were sleeping on, but apparently people were not sleeping on it. I was the one that was sleeping on it. I don't like shopping. I bought them a jacket from Old Navy did self-checkout and then this was still on there. I wasn't paying attention. So now I have to take that back to Old Navy. Luckily the, um, the it's an Old Navy. It's not the Old Navy that I bought it from, but it's an Old Navy that's gonna be in the area that I'm going to. Is it an Old Navy over there? Yes, it is. So that's gonna work out. So I'm just gonna have them go pop that off. I bought them two jackets. The other jacket didn't have it, but this one does have it. Sir, um, that's on the agenda as well. So basically, like, mom shit today. We're doing mom shit today. Hey, y'all. So we're definitely going to Walmart because I got to pick my order. Look at this. And I'm not even moving. Look at this. Will somebody come and look at this? So I actually am now at Burlington. I want to check out the new Burlington and share here really quickly. I'm going to look for some uniform pants for him and him. Because my logic is get all the stuff first, then go to Walmart, pick that order up. Then you can just get the food and go home. I'm looking kind of dry faced. It's it's one of those days, y'all. I'm about to take this hair down. These um feed in braids. I think if I would have had the right edge control, I probably would have been able to make them work longer, but I didn't, and so I'm not. So yeah, let's go into Burlington. Hey y'all, so there was not much to see in Burlington. They did not have no uniform pants. I'm currently at Walmart. I checked in on the phone, waiting for them to bring my order out. I called the pickup number and nobody answered, sir. I am hoping that my they 
get the message and bring my order out. I don't want to have to go in because I don't want to go in. That's it. That's because I don't want to go in. So, I'm going to check and see if they have some stuff at old navy like if i could get like one or two pair of pants and like one or two shirts just to hold him over until his stuff from children's place get delivered they i want like the multi-packs because i don't want to have to like buy separate pairs of pants and all the multi-packs they do not have any more in store which makes sense because everybody bought them up because the early bird catches a worm and i'm late as hell so yeah that's the plan so after this we're gonna go to i saw like a like a little shoe store that i want to check out real quick for him and see if i could grab him a pair of shoes um if not i'm gonna have to make another run to a different location and i need some gas and i'm thirsty and i'm getting hungry so we got stuff going on so yeah just wanted to clue you guys in on what's going on right now today so yeah this is what happens when you procrastinate don't procrastinate don't be like candace get it done early but a lot of the walmart stuff is it's only two two school supplies that they didn't have which was the composition notebook and the gallon ziploc bags i could easily get those so i'm not tripping on that at all so yeah you guys i am just gonna wait for my order and hopefully hopefully i don't have to go in and get it hopefully they hopefully they bring it out so yeah See you guys in a minute. Hey y'all, so I'm sitting here waiting on my order. They're gonna send me a message, uh, email telling my order got picked up. They did this shit last time. My thing is don't uh don't put my stuff in, it's picked up and it ain't got to my car yet. So that made me nervous because I need my stuff. So I'm gonna come back to y'all in a minute when they bring me my stuff, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, y'all, they brought it out. It's right where it's at. Can y'all see it? It's right there. Plus some stuff in the bag. I just I just needed to be patient, but I still don't like that because that makes me nervous because don't don't say you my shit got picked up and y'all ain't give it to me. So now we're off to the next store. I'm thinking the shoe store. So yeah, let's go to the shoe store. Hey y'all. When I tell y'all shopping is so I could shop online all day long, but having to go to physically go Walmart gas 424. I don't know. I ain't never had Walmart gas before. My bad. I'm in your way, miss. When it goes comes to physically going into store shopping, I hate that shit. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate going into stores. 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 I, hate going into stores. I, hate going into stores. I prefer to shop online. I should have thought about this shit. I do this every year every year i do this where i literally spend a weird amount of time reflecting on how i should not have procrastinated and done these things but that's just how much i didn't want to do them i should have just did it ahead of time i didn't do it i didn't do it i didn't do it so now it's kind of like this rushed type energy am i like concerned that it won't get done no no i kind of feel like if i would have spaced it out it would have i would have overbought side note i wanted to burlington i had picked some stuff up i didn't get a car because i was looking for uniform pants they didn't have any uniform pants in, in this new burlington which is fine um but i had saw like some nice pillows and stuff and y'all know i'm gonna do like my bed over and stuff i'm still looking for nightstands i want to go to at home for the nightstands i have a feeling that they're gonna be there so i'm real hesitant to like purchase them i get up in here i'm really hesitant to like purchase them from any place else because buyer's remorse be real and for me and so I don't want to get it and not see something like that's more perfect for what I wanted so I would rather go to at home and then if I don't like it just like exit out like they didn't have what I wanted I didn't like it that type of feel going on I do not have a stop sign why y'all acting like I got a stop sign so that's the that's the plan will the plan happen we don't know we just we just really truly don't know so we're not where i'm at now i'm about to go into this famous footwear 
I've never been into famous footwear before, but that's that's what my desperation is right now. Is I'm really just like any damn shoe store to see if they have some shoes for my baby. Oh, oh, the whole damn, that's how y'all feel? Is that how y'all feel? Dang. Okay, shit. Okay. Damn. It's been holding on all this time. But listen, don't, don't, don't get dark now. That was a, that was a dark moment y'all just did. You ain't have to, you didn't have to fall like that, okay? It's hot out here, but it ain't that hot, y'all. You, know, you should be passing out now. I'm just saying. So, let's go into Famous Footwear. Y'all just blew me with that. Let's go. Hey, y'all. So, Famous Footwear, they had some shoes, but I wasn't invested enough to pay like $60 for some shoes that I know he not going to be wearing. But lady, why are you walking in the street? Get on the fucking sidewalk. So now I'm finna, um, I'm about to run into Old Navy. What I'm finna do at Old Navy? I'm about to run into Old Navy and get them to take this clamp off my, uh, off this jacket. Then, I'm trying to think if I'm about to go to Cherville or if I'm gonna go to, Calumet City. I don't know. But I'm about to go to one of them. That's for damn sure. But I am going to look at Old Navy to see if they got some pants. I've been going in these stores real quick. In and out these stores real quick. That's why I ain't really been pulling. You know, taking y'all with me. Because y'all can stay on top of that. Because I don't even be in there very long. So. Where's the fucking jacket at? Here we go. And let's go, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, just left out of Old Navy. So, I got the thing taken off of my baby's jacket. They didn't have any. They had, like, some cargo-type pants. It wasn't giving uniform pants. So, I didn't get them. I'm thirsty now. So, I'm not going to get Panda from over here because... I think I'm gonna go to River Oaks, which I don't wanna fucking do, but I know they have a children's place in the mall, and so I'ma check their children's place out. I just want something to drink right now. I'm not hungry. I just want something to, I just want something to drink. So, I am waiting right here for the line to move up. Hopefully, let me see, cause last time I was in the way. Okay, we're we're making we're making headway now. So I just want me a Dr. Pepper. Do I need a Dr. Pepper now? I've been drinking my water. I have. I've been drinking my water. Y'all been doing good. So I'm gonna give me a large Dr. Pepper. And then we're gonna go to River Oaks. I need some gas. I need some. I need some gas, but I want to get my gas in Indiana. What happened? This doing its, it's doing its own thing. Cause who said do that? Who hold up? Okay. Maybe that helps a little bit. I ain't finna. Uh, I ain't finna tell y'all what y'all need to do, but y'all do need to. Clearly, it's not cause it's still getting fucking dark. So, this car is dirty, y'all. Filthy. I'm talking about on the outside. It's dirty. I don't like being this. Ooh, ooh. It's dirty, y'all. So, I really need to take her to like a hand car wash. I know where two are. She dirty. I walked up to the car and said, God damn. I didn't even realize you was this damn dirty, bitch. The, the top part of her really needs to be clean. She dirty. She dirty, y'all. She look dirty bird. She is a dirty bird. So, yeah, I ain't gonna talk y'all ears off right now today but i'm gonna get my pop and then i'm gonna head to river oaks and walk through the fucking mall 
and hope that they have some uniform pants in there and one shirt. I, I, two pants, two shirts. That's all I ask. Can he fit the pants he has now? Yes. Yes, he can. But a bigger size would do him better. I done had him put the pants on. I done had him sock, uh, sit crisscross applesauce, as he would say. I've had him sit in a regular chair, sit in a lower chair, bend over. He said the pants not tight. They don't look tight. But I just know that they're eight. And he's eight. And normally, up until now, like, his age has coincided with his clothes size. But my baby's a little longer. So the pants fit. They're not flooding or anything like that. But I just, I know he, he's, he's supposed to be in a 10 right now. So that's, that's my whole thing. So it's not like he don't have no uniform. He just don't have the ones I want him to have. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm gonna get my drink and then I'm gonna head to Walmart. I gotta find a gas station on. I'm gonna put a little bit of gas in here, over here, and then I'm gonna go to Indiana. Maybe tomorrow, so I'll be back here. Hello. Y'all, so I just came out of Shoe Carnival. I said the one time that I really was like, I'm not gonna vlog it, get it together. The one time I'm like, I'm not gonna vlog going into shoe carnival. Why they had the shoes? They did not have them online. I came to this store like last week. They did not have them. They only had a couple pair. I got them. These little simple, simple, all black with white stripe Adidas. You would think they would be easy to find. We're not easy to find, but I got them. So now I'm about to go to River Oaks and cross my fingers at Children's Place and just hope that, like, Shoe Carnival, they just ain't update their website yet and I could get, like, a couple multi-packs of uniforms. And then I'm going to go to this panda and then we're going to go home. So I'm excited, you guys. They had it up. Oh, so happy. I, I feel I feel accomplished now. I do. I really do. So um yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey y'all, so I just left out of River Oaks Children's Place. When I tell you slim pickings, slim pickings, apparently everybody with a child my size, they they done already came so and conquered. So I was able to scrummage up none of the sizes were in the correct pile in the correct spot so i was able to i get out of here i was able to find some pants and a shirt a shirt one shirt not even the type of shirt that i would want for him to have river oaks gives me evergreen plaza before they close down vibes like I came in here wrong. Did I come in here wrong? I feel like I came in here wrong, yeah. They give me flea market vibes. It's the fact that it's in the middle of the day and a lot of the damn stores was closed, which I don't, I don't get it, but you know, some shit ain't for me to get. Let me get the fuck up out of here. Okay, ladies. You ladies are beautiful. Please get out of the fucking way. Thank you. Y'all going in here to see somebody, y'all going to be sorely mistaken. It's dead. I remember when River Oaks used to be packed. When I tell y'all how River Oaks is still open, I have no idea. It's giving... We about to close down. We just ain't made the announcement yet. And then I really don't know what they're going to do with this space. I really feel like they purposely like, oh, bitch, do you see me? Oh, okay. I feel like they purposely like run down these malls that predominantly black people shop at and I don't like that 
because River Oaks has always been a very nice mall. It has been a mall that had a lot of, oh shit, I need to keep straight. Don't do it, sir. That has had a lot of different options and things like that. But now you go in there, and I know people at work still, but it was, it was borderline depressing. It was borderline depressing, y'all. How... It, it looked like a it's, it looked like a rummage sale. It it just does. It looks like it looked like a flea market. A bunch of stores where it's like, what the fuck is that? That's what it was. That's what it had. Like a bunch of a bunch of stores. Okay, bitch. Cause what was you finna do? They got like a bunch of stores like that. They were just like should have been closed down, but they wasn't closed down. I I don't. I don't get it. I just don't. Thank you for choosing Henry Express. Would you like to ask? Hi, what can I get for you? Uh, one moment, please. I should have did this ahead of time. Hey, Ma, you want some panda? Okay, then. All right, bye. bye. You ready? Okay. Yes, I am. What can I for you? Okay, bye. Um, yes. Can I get um two orange chicken bowls with chow mein? Okay. One mushroom chicken bowl with chow mein. Okay. A small orange chicken. Okay, hold on. Okay. They said, wait a minute, you ordering too much damn orange chicken. They don't have the cream. Okay, so I have three bowls and then a small orange. Anything else? Yes. Do you guys have the cream cheese ragoons? I do. Okay, can I have one order of those? And that's okay. all. Any donation for Lori Children's Hospital? No, thank you. I go to pull around. Thank you. So, y'all, yeah, I'm hungry. I did all that I'm going to do today. All that I'm going to do today is what got done. Hey, okay, y'all. So, it is Thursday, August 25th. So, yesterday... Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday is when I went out. Tuesday, I went, and y'all see it in the vlog. I don't know if I'm going to have this as a separate video, but it might be with the video. But Tuesday, I went out, picked up the school supplies and all of that stuff um, for my son for school. His first day of school was today. So when I got home on Tuesday, like about 40 minutes after I got home, I started feeling like a little, like, you know how you feel right before you get sick like you kind of feel it like in your nose and stuff like that so i woke up yesterday and i had some tea and i felt like i was getting like a little bit of nasal drip now i've had a sinus infection before so it feels similar to that but just because the rona is going around i actually want to test for covid because I'd rather be safe than sorry. I, since Tuesday, I've been like quarantining for my son. Luckily, he's old enough where he can do a lot of stuff on his own. So, um, that's a plus. So, he's been able to like, you know, get food and stuff like that. He got up, got himself dressed and all of that. So I drove him to school today with the windows down. I made sure that it was ventilated. I kept my mask on the whole time. Um, we didn't do no hugging and stuff like that, which really, I don't even want to get into it because that's like part of our thing that we do is we, we hug. Oh, it's two tests in here. So the test that I'm about to use is this Binax Now. COVID test is two tests in here. So y'all just saw me open it. So this is one test. 
let me look at the instructions real quick and then we'll see because i very much so rather be did i get you two yeah i rather much i very much so rather be safe than sorry i know COVID is not as deadly as it has been in the past however because my son is young i know that when the kids are younger they they deal with it differently than we do so i made sure that i got them off to school and is this spanish this is spanish Where, where's the english that's because that's what i need oh it's one in spanish and one in english because i'm like hold up is this in english yeah this in english so they give you two sets of instructions one look like it's all in spanish and then the other one look like it's in english so yeah so we're gonna take this test together y'all like my nails these are my these were supposed to be my trip nails i just did something real simple and then my toes are just white so let's look at the directions so oh, we don't need to to prep for the test i already washed and sanitized my hands okay so it say prepare for the test you're supposed to have one swab i got that one test card one swab one test card and pouch it also said that you're supposed to have one dropper bottle or this little stick thing and they gave me this little stick thing and then a timer which i'm gonna use my phone it said, do not touch any parts on the inside of the test. Handle card only by the edges. So that's the result window. So let's see. So you remove the test card from pouch. Make sure the blue control line is present in the result window. Do not use the card if it is not. Okay. Open the card and lay it flat on the table with the pink side down. You may bend the spine. Hold up. Let's open this up. Cause baby, I'm like, I've been I've been dodging it this whole time. Very, very successfully. Um, if it if it we ain't gonna speak that into existence, so baby, we're not even gonna talk about it. Okay. So I'm holding it by the side. So this is the control. So the line is there for the control. I hopefully y'all can see this. Cause I don't know. Do this let me zoom in. You know I'm using this as my yeah. So hopefully y'all can see that. But it is a line on there for the control. Okay. Hold up. Inside a car is the test. Outside a car, inside a car. Okay, do not touch any parts on the inside handle card, only by the edges. So then they say remove test card from pouch. Make sure the blue control line. Okay. Open the card and lay it flat on the table with the pink side down. So they got like pictures. They got pictures on it. So I'm just going by what the picture look like. Okay. Uh, what to say now? Remove the dropper bottle cap. Hold dropper bottle straight over top hole. Do not angle. Put six drops in top hole. Okay. Hold up. So, you're supposed to open this. Hold up. Six drops. I'm trying to see. Okay. So the first thing we do is we're going to do six drops. Hold dropper straight over top of hole. Do not angle. Put six drops in top hole. Do not touch with tip. Six drops. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Okay. 
So we got the six drops in there. Then it says turn over, take the swab out. You want to open it from the stick end. You don't want to open it from the end where you're going to put up your nose, y'all. It got a sign on the say peel here for the people that's like, I didn't know I couldn't touch it with my... You should have known. You should have known. My, my only symptoms, y'all, I got a little bit of nasal drip, and not even right now. It comes and goes. I, when I tell you, I don't get it. It's okay. About three-fourths inch and five big circles. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Three, four, five. Oh, okay. Now let's do the other side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Insert tip into lower hole. Firmly push the swab tip. Shit. Firmly push the swab tip from the lower hole until it is invisible in the top hole. Do not remove the swab. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Turn the swab three, turn the turn swab to right three times to mix with drop drops. One, two, three. Okay. Peel adhesive. Hold up, y'all, my nose running. Ooh, that was. Peel adhesive liner off. Be careful not to touch. Other parts of the card. Okay. So then we're going to peel this part off. Okay. Close the left side of the card over swab and press firmly. Okay. Okay. Press firmly, y'all. Wait 15 minutes, read results in 15 minutes. Okay, so now we're going to do the timer um, for 15 minutes. Timer. Okay, we got 15 minutes and we're going to start. I'll come back to y'all when it's almost over with the 15 minutes. Wish me luck, y'all. Okay, y'all, so we still got... <clears throat> we still got 12 minutes and 40 five seconds the test is still going however we got this hopefully it is focusing so it is definitely positive for covid i am very pissed and disappointed but I don't feel I don't feel bad or anything so I'm going to my symptoms so far is nasal drip that's it I don't have no cough I don't have no sneeze I don't have no congestion I don't have no shortness of breath I'm not having any breathing issues or nothing like that like I said the stuff started Tuesday was it Tuesday? Tuesday when I got home. Yeah. So, oh, let my son know I'm duo. I got to pick him up from school. I'm going to be masked up with the um 
windows rolled down so that the car can ventilate and stuff like that the same way we drove to school because I wasn't sure so then I'll be quarantining for 10 days and then I'm gonna come back and test in 10 days so I'm gonna still be masking up and all of that stuff um the good thing is if I had to deal with it I'd rather deal with it now than back when with the OG COVID because the OG COVID was sitting people down the old the OG COVID had people sat down so I feel I don't feel bad I don't feel I can't even I don't feel bad um last night when I slept my nostril was a little congested I kind of propped myself up a little bit and let the the mucus drain and then I was fine like I slept fine um I didn't have to sleep propped up the whole time I was able to breathe through my nose and all of that so as time goes by you know I just document to let y'all know like what my symptoms are but right now nasal drip and not even all the time like not even all the time I haven't had no sneezing no coughing no none of that so I am going to Tuesday is when I started feeling like I was coming down with something so I'm gonna count from Tuesday now I have been I've been masking up um since Tuesday like in the house since Tuesday and stuff because I didn't know what was going on and I'm like I don't want to take the chances now I've had a sinus infection before this felt like it the symptoms were similar to a sinus infection in my opinion it still got nine minutes it ain't like it's gonna turn negative but um the my symptoms started out very similar to a um sinus infection but when I had the sinus infection the, the last time it was more burning in my nose and it was more like dry so i had got a little bit of nasal drip but it wasn't a lot of nasal drip so i'm like yeah i just document my symptoms from here on now i know it's different with everybody my biggest thing is making sure that i am keeping my son safe because i take care of him so like i said the good thing is is he is independent enough where he can go get his own food he can do all of that and i've been having him mask up around me because i didn't know what was going on i just didn't want to take any chances it came on so sudden it was like i was cool while i was out and then um i got home and like 40 minutes later i started getting like a little scratchy throat and i'm like oh like What's happening? Is it allergy season? Is it allergies? I had the cream cheese ragoon from Panda. Y'all know I'm lactose intolerant. My son was like, it probably from the from the cream cheese or whatever. And so I had a conversation with him already. I'm like, I'm gonna take the test. I'm gonna see what's going on because, like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to be walking around trying to self diagnose myself. So yeah, I I'm disappointed. I ain't gonna lie. My my claim to fame was it it ain't it ain't touch me. It ain't touch me. But now, my claim to fame is going to be, it, it touched me, but it didn't touch my baby. So, I'm going to just make sure that he's going to be a-okay. Um, he got up this morning, got himself dressed, all of that stuff. I had set his clothes out the night before. Um, I've been spraying Lysol and all of that. So, he seems very cool. Um... I'm I am disappointed that I'm not gonna be able to hug like I be I be loving on my baby I be I do I be loving on him so it is a little bit I'm um, disappointed that I can't like really like touch him be around him hug him hold him and stuff like that but we'll talk on duo on his tablet and stuff like that so you guys I am going to end this out and yeah so I'll be back um with I, I guess tomorrow like I just start like documenting my symptoms if anything else arises um like I said today I feel fine I feel good I mean I don't I mean I I feel like how you feel right before you get sick that's how I feel like I feel like Mm, it's something going on I feel a little nasal no real mucus build up or nothing like that but it's still early so let me see it's it's six minutes left it's it's still you guys yeah it, it's the, the it's the fact that it didn't even I hope y'all can see that because I don't know I'm using my new tripod y'all 
um it's the fact that it's it hasn't even been 15 minutes when i it was less than two minutes he said yeah yeah you you got it you got it sis you 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 got that yeah you 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 got that so um i'm being the house i'm finna finish watching p valley and um uh, that's it probably have somebody else go uh, pick them up today um because i don't really want to run the risk of even exposing him to anything that i got going on even though i'm like taking precautions and stuff like that um so yeah so that's it you guys i'll be back um tomorrow to talk about symptoms later on today to talk about symptoms if anything else come up if it don't come up i'm coming back to you may not come up so yeah that's it y'all so i will uh Talk to y'all later. Hey y'all. So it's it's Monday. I know. I know. I know. We haven't spoke since Thursday. I get it. I know. So um, as y'all saw, I tested positive on Thursday morning. I was having symptoms for two days. Um, uh, just a little a little backstory. So y'all remember my family went out of town for to go to the DR. Well, on their way back, um, I'm gonna know, to me, this is information I got after the fact, after the fact. Let me back it up. So I picked them up from the airport um, that Saturday, the 17th. Was it the 17th? The 17th, yes. So I picked them up on, from uh, the airport on the 17th and my brother got in the car, he wasn't feeling well, he had a headache. Now, my brother's fully vaccinated, got the boosters and all of that good stuff. So, he wasn't feeling well. So, my mom, um, we got home. He sat in the front seat with me. And I'm like, why Why would you put the boy with the cooties in the front seat with me? Because I'm like, what's wrong with him? We get to McDonald's. And she's like, oh, he's not feeling well. I'm like, why would you put the cooties boy up here with me? But I digress. So, we get home. Everything's cool. You know, everybody's chilling and stuff like that. And so, my brother's continuing to have, like, senses and stuff like that. So... The 19th, I believe, my mom's like, let me let me go ahead and test you for COVID because you 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 cutting up with these symptoms. So, I mean, it's a watermelon, y'all. So, he ended up testing positive, so we quarantined him in his room. Lysol wipes, all of that disinfected everything. You know, did we did doing everything we're supposed to do. Um. We like, okay, nobody used the bathroom that he's using, you know, everybody go to alternate bathrooms or whatever. That was cool, that was fine, whatever. So my mother was taking care of him while he was going through COVID. So he started to feel better. And then my mom started to feel not good. So then my mom started getting symptoms on the 20th, I wanna say. I wanna say the 20th, but I'ma check and see. So she started getting symptoms like on the 20th or something like that. Hold on, let me see real quick. Let me search up in here. Um, it's people with the uh, with the iPhones. It's like we could we could search through our text too. Just now, just now, y'all. <laughs> Patty, the 22nd. So she tested positive on the 22nd for COVID. She was having symptoms for two days. So on the 20th, she was having symptoms. So he came, we, they got back on the 17th. She tested him on the, let me see. Hold up. Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember what, what we were talking about so I can get like around the text. Me and my mama text a whole lot. I always tell people, I say, if um, if you want me to find something from uh, some time ago, if it's if it's with me and my mama, if it's more than a day, you might as well forget that 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 information is lost in the sauce. Uh, what is this? So anyway, it was before. So she tested positive on the 22nd. I'm going to say my brother tested positive on like the 19th 
or something like that. It was something like that. So my brother was my brother was getting better, and then my mom started getting worse. So of course, like okay, so she tests positive on the twenty second, yet again. So then on that Tuesday, was it Tuesday? It was the day, it was the day that I went out. School, I hadn't been nowhere that whole time. I don't think, no, I hadn't been nowhere that whole time um, since they had got back. I didn't, I didn't go nowhere. Cause they got back on Saturday. I didn't go nowhere Sunday. I didn't go nowhere Monday. Tuesday, I went out to get my uh, son's school supply stuff because he had school supply drop off on Wednesday, right? So he had school supply drop off on Wednesday. So I went out Tuesday, as y'all saw, and I got all his school supply stuff. Um, was I masking? No, cause I felt fine. And yeah, we got that. We got that option. So don't don't do that. We got that option. So I wasn't masking cause I felt fine. So I got home that Tuesday, and I felt like a little a little a little shump a little shump in the back of the throat. I didn't think much of it because I'm like. We been in the house. I've been doing everything I'm supposed to do. Yes, my mother now has COVID, and my brother has COVID. Um, but you know, everybody don't have it. It's still other people in the house that don't have. It. So I'm like, I'm still doing everything I'm supposed to do. Everything I'm supposed to do. So Tuesday rolled around, and I feel a little, a little some. I'm like, mm, I don't know what this is. So Wednesday, school supply drop off. So we go Wednesday. Um, I wear masks. My son wear masks. We we do that. So we do school supply drop off on Wednesday, and no, I take that back. I didn't wear a mask. I didn't have okay, so I didn't wear a mask when I went to school. The school drop off, cause I promise you, in the back of my mind, even though they was going through it, I didn't feel like I didn't think that it was gonna touch me because I wasn't around either one of them. I was quarantining. We was lifestyle. We was doing everything we were supposed to do. So I wasn't. I didn't think it was gonna touch me. I figured my mom got it because she was taking care of him, and she was in close contact with him. Well, I wasn't in close contact with him, and I wasn't in close contact with her because she was taking care of him. So I thought it was fine. So like I said, Tuesday, I felt a little something. Wednesday, I went to school supply drop off. I didn't have, um, I, I didn't have nothing going on. I had no runny nose, no none of that stuff going on when I went to school supply drop off. So I left school supply drop off, came back home, never sneezed, never coughed, no, no runny nose, no none of that stuff was going on. So um, I didn't really talk talk to nobody thankfully when i was there because we was on business trying to get the school supplies out so we can get out so wednesday night it's like my symptoms started just like kicking up so it's like my nose started running more i started feeling like stuffy and like my nose was congested and so i'm like what the hell so i got up um thursday was my baby's first day of school so i got up thursday and i took him to school i wore a mask all the way there with the windows rolled down because I'm like, hold up. I don't know what's going on. At first I thought it was sinitis because I have a sinus infection because I had it before. Um, That's pretty much what it felt like. I didn't have none of them symptoms that were, I didn't believe I had none of them symptoms that uh, like people with COVID was typically having. So I didn't think nothing of it. So I just wore my mask. When I dropped him off at school, I made him wear his mask all the way to the school in the car. I had the windows rolled down and stuff. So we didn't do no hugs or nothing like that because I was like, I really don't know what's going on. This could be a sinus infection or it could be COVID. So I was up all the night before like Googling stuff like it's a sinus infection, is it COVID? Can you be in the house with somebody and get a sinus infection and not get COVID? Like all of this stuff, been there. like everything was a possibility. That's, that's Google for you. So... I told my son, I said, well, listen, when I get home, I'm going to take a test because I need to see what's going on. So my son been quarantining from everybody in the house. So um, I'm like, I'm going to see what's going on. I'm going to take a test when I get home. And then when you get home, I'll let you know like what, what the results was. And he was like, okay. So I got home Thursday and I took the test. The time that y'all saw me taking the test, when I took the test, it was like, nine something in the morning or something like that so i took the test shit positive it didn't even take 15 minutes as y'all saw it literally we two minutes in she like mm -hmm, yeah it got you it got you so 
now I'm paranoid because now I'm thinking about all the places and all of the, the fact that I went up to the school and I didn't have a mask. I felt a little something, but then it had, it just kind of like subsided. Like I didn't have nothing was going on. So it, I feel bad because I'm like, you, you never want to get nobody sick. And the good thing about it was, it's like, I didn't have a mask on and my son didn't have a mask on, but it was a lot of people in there that had a mask on. And so, um, I felt good about that, but I still felt bad because I'm like, I thought I was having like, like a sinus effect. I was in complete denial. Like I thought I was having like a sinus infection or something because I'm like, there's no way I could get COVID because I've been doing everything that I'm supposed to do. I've been staying away from everybody and I've been good all this time. So, after I went through the shock of it all on Thursday, my son got home. I let my son know. Been quarantining him ever since. I've been quarantined ever since. Lights out. This is the second can. We got two more upstairs. Clorox wipes over there. Keeping it together, hand sanitizer over there, washing my hands so much, my little hand eggs when I got irritated, but it's okay because I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. Cause I'm paranoid now wearing wraps on my hand because I'm like everything now, I'm like you never realize how much shit you touch until you get COVID and you wanna spray down everything that you touch. You like, God damn. I touched that doorknob like three times. I didn't even realize it. God damn. I don't realize how many times I use the bathroom a day. So it's so many things that I become like more aware of. So anyway. So Friday, um, so Thursday, my because my central tap was like kicking up a little bit more. Um, Wednesday, Thursday when I got up, like my nose, I didn't have a runny nose or nothing like that. I felt like I had a little bit of nasal drip going on, but it was going to the back of my throat, which is why again I thought it was a sinus infection. Because when I had a sinus infection, it was doing all of that stuff. So Friday I woke up. Friday night when I went to sleep, I was real. My nose was like real, real stuffed up. Um, I literally had to kind of like prop myself up so that I wasn't laying flat. Because when I was laying flat, I couldn't breathe through my nose. Now, I don't know about other people, but for me, when I get sick and I can't breathe through my nose, because I'm not a mouth breather, I had nightmares. And my nightmares are that I can't breathe because I'm really not breathing here. So, because my mouth is closed, but I can't breathe through my nose. But because I'm not a mouth breather my man be like don't open your mouth to breathe i guess so i had nightmares so that's like one part that i hate about being sick is because i get nightmares because when my nose gets stopped up i can't breathe through my nose and my body and i still be just i still breathe through my nose even though when i'm asleep because that's what I, my body used to doing so um friday i went to sleep um i kind of was propped up and i was like okay that was cool my nose wasn't stopped up or nothing i slept pretty cool i slept pretty cool so and i woke up friday um i noticed i had like a little bit of chest congestion so i'm like okay a little bit later on that day um the it started it turned into like phlegm so the phlegm was like it was not like i noticed tmi y'all but i want y'all to know so the phlegm was like it was loose it wasn't like y'all know like it'd be like that dry phlegm it wasn't like that it was loose came up very easy wasn't a problem now on a sad sad note um i've been drinking from the time that i found out that i had a uh, covid till now i've been drinking um mully is i have like the little tea strainer things that i put in my this old y'all don't talk about me this from yesterday i still ain't empty it out but i got one of these things and so in here i put oh shit i got herbs that i um that i use so in there i do um half in that in a cup i do half peppermint leaf and half mullion i really do more mullion and peppermint because the top of that is like concave is that the right word where i could stuff i could have it like sitting up and it'll fit over it good it don't have to be the the top of the herbs don't have to be flat on top i don't know if i'm uh, explaining it right but whatever so i mix i do mullion leaf and peppermint and i've been doing that and i kind of feel like that's part of the reason why um the phlegm just was so loose and it just came up so easily it didn't give me no problems anytime i would feel like a little bit of something it was never like a whole lot so anytime i felt like a little bit of something i would just it would just come right up so um that was friday 
so saturday i had a little bit more mucus that was coming up so maybe like in a day i might have to like cough it up maybe like five times the first day and like three times sunday so yesterday yesterday I, yeah i think it was like three times yesterday so i woke up the only time i slept when my nose was stopped up was that thursday night friday when i went to sleep slept fine i was able to lay regular nose one stopped up um now my nose did get stopped up throughout the day but it's like if i was laying back it would get stopped up but once i set up it would drain and then i was cool even when i lay back down it was cool saturday i slept fine i slept regular um no nasal drip no blowing the nose no nothing friday thursday and friday i did have to blow my nose quite a bit because i did have nasal drip and i throughout this whole thing i, I might have sneezed maybe like four times i'ma say that i remember and two of those times was my fault because i was cleaning my nose out and my fingernail went through the tissue and it hit the that shit hurt people with nails you know you know so yesterday i was pretty cool i had i had a little bit of phlegm going on still um i barely used any tissue but I, like if i had like nasal drip or something like if i felt my nose about to run like i would just blow it if i felt like it was something in it i would just blow it and most nine times out of ten like nothing really came out i had a little bit of nasal drip like at one point in time through the day but that was it um then yesterday morning saturday morning when i woke up i did have some phlegm like when i woke up i did have a little bit of chest congestion when i woke up this morning today which is monday i woke up no chest congestion no runny nose no nothing throughout this whole thing y'all um so my brother He had the worst symptoms and he was fully vaccinated. He's fully vaccinated with boosters, everything, y'all. He had body aches, nausea, um, fever, chills. What else did he have? Headache. He had the coughing, the sneezing. I don't know if he had no chest congestion. So my mama had fatigue, a headache, and fever. It's almost like, like my mother was saying, she said every time, it's like, as as we was getting it one by one, the symptoms got less and less. So like for me, I had um, a stuffy nose, I had a runny nose, I had a little bit of chest congestion. Oh, and my mom had shortness of breath as well. Um, I, I had a little bit of chest congestion I didn't have no headache, no fatigue, no appetite loss, which I was looking forward to that. I was looking forward to that. Everybody walking around with they post COVID bodies. Cause they, cause they ain't had no appetite for 10 days. And here I am over here eating hot pockets at three o'clock in the morning. Why? Why? This happens every single time. This everybody that's talking, oh, when well, you have a baby and you breastfeed, you're going to lose all your weight. That didn't happen to me. So somebody lying so somebody somebody is lying somebody is lying so i've been eating fine um i haven't had no fatigue as a matter of fact it, i've been it's been hard for me to go to bed i'm still dealing with insomnia y'all so i really it is really that's it that's it i haven't i i've been and, and for me i've been more sick with a regular cold than I than I was with with this COVID, which I'm I'm not complaining about at all. Not complaining about it at all, which lets me know that the strain is 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 very much so weak. But the way that it reacted between me, my mom, and my brother, it also shows me that um, it depends on you. Oh, and my mom got she got the COVID cough, and you know they say that that cough gonna be like the last thing to live. She got the COVID cough. I had no cough, so. Um, with with depending on your body it's gonna react differently but what i find to be not funny but weird 
and suspicious is the fact that my brother who's fully vaccinated with the boosters because you gotta throw the boosters on because they say if you ain't get the boosters you ain't fully vaccinated my brother who's fully vac vaccinated with the boosters had the worst symptoms he had the worst symptoms and not only that but we both caught covid from the vaccinated one yeah well I'm, I'm not vaccinated i'm not getting vaccinated i'm not planning on getting vaccinated i don't trust it i don't believe it i don't mm -mm, nope mm -mm, mm -mm. and the fact that that we both got covid from a vaccinated person proves my point of what 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 what, what, what was it supposed to do because me and my, my symptoms were the least um my my mother she had shortness of breath but it was very brief um so it wasn't like a all day I can't breathe. It was like okay for for two minutes I had shortness of breath and then it went away type stuff. She had like two episodes of that and then that was it. But my brother went through. He went through. He went through a lot. So my brother retested and he has like a really really faint line. So he's still quarantining. My mom is gonna be retesting on Wednesday and then I don't retest again until I don't retest until Thursday. Saturday because I count we counted the first two days because um my mother's like she's like you know you got to count from when your symptoms started not from when you tested positive here so my symptoms started Tuesday I tested Wednesday I tested Thursday so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Thursday, I was like on my third day, and so that's how we that's how we counted. So everybody quarantining now. Um, is you ain't gonna find no house with more Lysol wipes. You ain't gonna find no house with more Lysol. You ain't gonna find no house um, that's been sanitizing as much as this house because our biggest thing now is to keep it away from um, my baby. Um, and and it's 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 working, and he's gonna be good. So. I'm glad that I haven't been miserable. I don't like being sick. Who does? I'm glad that if I had to have it, that this was the strain that I got. I've had other people in my family who have had it, and they um, they almost was at the upper room. Like we were, we were very concerned, very concerned. Now we do believe my mama got COVID back when um, the OG COVID was out, like the, the, the original COVID was out, but we didn't know what was going on with her because you know, they was, they was testing it out amongst the people. They didn't want to put it out there yet. They said, we want to see how um, it's killing y'all first before we come out and let y'all know that we already know this is out because we did it. So, this what she got at this time it was way less it was way she was like listen i feel like i had a cold and we, we could push through a cold so i was very happy that if if i had to have it that i got the strain that i had i feel i felt i never felt sick i never felt sick now it is not it does not feel good to have look why i'm not so good it does not feel good to have a stuffy nose. But you know, like, when you actually feel sick, I never felt sick. So, I felt a little bit uncomfortable. I felt like I was getting sick. So, I never took no medicine for it. I never, like I said, I never had a headache. So, I never took no cough medicine. never took no mucinex. I never took nothing for it. Like, nothing. I just drank my tea. My mullion and peppermint. Mullion and peppermint leaf, not the mullion or peppermint tea. I, I did the leaf in my little strainer thing. I'm sure the tea works just as well. I get my herbs from a black-owned store that's in a black-owned herbal store that's there. There's um, they in New York called Zola's. I'm gonna put the name. I'm gonna put the name up somewhere. I'll put my hand up. Yeah, I'm gonna put the name up somewhere up in here. The name of where I get my herbs from, and I love them. I want to find a place in Chicago. I'm from Chicago, and when I tell y'all, I don't be doing none of the black-owned places, and I really want to know because I want to spend my money with y'all. 
I want to spend my money with us. So, that's where I get my herbs from. So, I know that um, my mom was dealing with asthma. And so, I started, the, I got into herbs because my mom was dealing with asthma. And they were trying to put on all of this medication. And I'm like, you don't need to be on all of this medication because this medication is not, it's not what it's cracking. Um, I worked at a pharmacy for some years. And that medication, mm-mm. We ain't even gonna get on metformin. We, we ain't even gonna get on metformin, but that medication, it, it is, it's not gonna cure you. So I started doing research on like different herbs and stuff like that because these pills are made up of herbs and then the bullshit that they put in it with the herbs. So I started doing my research on the herbs and stuff and I found out about mullion leaf. And I'm like, okay, I found about a bunch of other herbs, so we just gonna talk about mullion. So I know mullion is good for um, phlegm, it's good for asthma, it's good for opening up like your, your respiratory, your lungs and stuff like that and breaking down like the mucus and all of that stuff. And when I tell you it has been working like a charm, I've drunk like maybe like two cups a day. I drink it when I feel like it. So I might drink like two cups a day because I love tea anyway. I don't put sugar in my tea. I used to put sugar in my tea. Sometimes I will as a treat, but not that tea. My mother got me on that because I used to always put sugar in my tea. And my mother's like, I don't drink nothing in my tea. And then I tried it one day and I felt like an adult. And I said, you know what? I'm an adult now and I don't need any sugar, okay? Let it be savory. So I drink it plain. I put the little tea thing in and I got a cure it. I fill a cup up with hot water while the little um, strainer thing is in there. I let it sit in there for like five minutes. I dip it, let it sit in there for five more minutes and then I try to drink it as hot as I can. When I tell you, it breaks it all down. I haven't had no issues. Lungs is cool, clear. Let me, let me spray because that's too. that was too much breath in the air. That was too much breath in the air. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I don't like that breath in the air. Gotta get that out of there. So, my windows are closed right now, but I've been keeping my windows open for ventilation purposes and stuff like that so that the fresh air can get through and ventilate the space. It has been very hard for me, you guys, um, because y'all don't know this about me, but when it comes to my baby, Oh, I'm a love on him. And I have not been able to hug my baby. I have not been able to see my baby face to face. I've not been able to hold his hand. I've not I've not been able to do any of the things that I normally do. I've not been able to sit next to him and listen to me listen to him tell me about how he won a battle a battle royale or whatever in Fortnite. Like I, I ain't been able to do none of that stuff. Um and it is it is taking me down like a dark path and I'm trying not to go that way. But because I know that I am gonna get to see him again, but it's just, I, I don't know. What be so crazy is he'll go to his dad's house. He'll be at his dad's house for like damn near a month, two, three weeks. Two, three weeks, he'll be at his dad's house. If it's on break, he, 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 he done been there damn near a month. And I'll be at the house, cool. I don't know if it's because I am like, I know that I can't, that is bothering me, but it's something. Cause it hasn't even been that long, but it, it is something. And it's, it's, it's bothering me. I, I'm not even gonna lie. It's bothering me that I can't be around him. Cause when he's in the house, I'm used to being around him. But it's for the best. Um, He's doing fine. Doesn't have any symptoms. Haven't been around him. Haven't been taking him to school. Haven't been picking him up. Um, my family been helping out with that because um, everybody don't got COVID in the house. You know? Everybody don't. What's that? So, um, yeah. So, it's Monday. I need to edit this whole video. I ain't did shit this weekend. And it wasn't because I wasn't feeling good. I just didn't do shit this weekend. I just didn't. Normally, I would have done this video. I would have um, edited this video yesterday. And it would have been already loaded up and ready to go. So, I'm very behind. But I wanted to come to y'all. This, this vlog is... 
this may be a, a damn COVID vlog. It's maybe a damn COVID vlog at this point because ain't shit else been going on. Um, so yeah, I got some old stuff that I'm about to record and come out with, and that's that. I, I need to do something to my hair because it's looking real what the fuck, and I don't like that. So yeah, um, anybody out there that that's dealing with COVID, I hope y'all get well soon. Um, the strain is getting weaker. At least it's weaker for me and the people around me who dealt with it. When I tell y'all, my mother told people I had COVID and my family was texting me like, just stay strong, just hold out. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna do good. You just gotta push. I'm like, well, goddamn. But it was because they had like, they, they was getting COVID like the Omicron was like, what, 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 what who, who, who I need to hit. So they had it real, real bad. But me, it was very, the universe looked out for me, looked out for everybody in this house because we were not, none of us were like awful. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. And I'm also very grateful that I didn't have to put Aiden in a way of dealing with it, like, or put him in at risk of it. And so I'm like, his uh, granddad was able to take him to school and pick him up and stuff like that. So he he's fine. He doesn't have it, so like he's fine. They both been quarantining, so he's been fine. So I'm I'm so happy that I have that help because otherwise I would be basically paranoid every day, taking him to school and picking him up, knowing that I have COVID and I could you know possibly give it to him. But I feel very very good knowing that I didn't have to um, put him in harm's way with dealing with COVID. Because my baby don't. When he gets sick, he don't he don't. He don't like catch a cold and be like, oh, I had a cold and that's it. Like, nah, we be in the emergency room. Like, his shit turn into a respiratory infection. It be all kind of shit going. So, I'm like, he can't, he he cannot. School just started. No, I don't want nobody to get it. But definitely not him. So, we've all been, like, very, very cautious, making sure that um, he stayed away from it as much as possible. And it is working, you guys. It is absolutely working. I'm very, very happy about it. Um... He's very much up on his COVID protocol because he's been dealing with this since 2020, back when they was, they was doing e-learning and all of that stuff. So he's very aware, like masks, wash your hands, hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, lights all. He, he got the work in his room, all of that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna edit this and be productive. I gotta start. I gotta start being more productive. I, I wanna do more, and I am gonna do more. I feel like I'm beating myself up, and I shouldn't do that. But it's so much that I wanna do that I feel like I'm not doing, and I'm about to start doing it. But I need to have a plan. I am. Uh, um, I, I deal with procrastination, which is not good, and I know that. And I'm about to go back to when I wasn't using my, I used to like not use my phone until noon. And I would get so much shit done, just not looking, being on social media until noon. And so it's really messing with my um, productivity again. So I'm about to make a plan and get it together, but I'm about to edit this video. And yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I see y'all soon. Oh, um, why I keep doing it? It's too much. It's just, it's just too much. I don't want the. I don't want the breath. I don't want the breath. God.